Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Benin and I'm an online English teacher from the UK. Today I'd like to talk together about how to politely interrupt someone in English. This is very hard to do in a second language, I know, both to find the right moment and be polite enough to make that interruption. So let's have a look together. We're going to look at two main structures today together, so let's dive in with the first structure. The first structure is sorry to plus infinitive, and the most common infinitives we would use here are sorry to interrupt, sorry to cut you off, or sorry to butt in. So we would first use this phrase to make the interruption and then we would have a second phrase to give the reason for our interruption. The second phrase to give this reason should also be very polite and we would tend to start it with, I just wanted to. So we're using just to convey politeness and we're also using this past tense wanted instead of want also to be softer and more polite. With this phrase, I just wanted to, we would add another infinitive and that could be something like, I just wanted to ask, I just wanted to mention, I just wanted to add, for example. So we could have a full interruption like, sorry to interrupt, um, I just wanted to ask when the next meeting will be, for example. Or we could say, sorry to cut you off, um, I just wanted to mention that you forgot this important piece of data. And then it's a really lovely, polite interruption. The second structure we could use is can I or could I just plus infinitive to make the interruption. We could use lots of infinitives here, like can I just ask, for example, could I just say, could I just jump in is very common to enter the conversation. Could I just jump in? Could I just enter? Um, we might also say, could I just come in for this purpose to enter? And another phrasal verb we have here is chip in, which means to contribute. Could I just chip in? Means like, can I just contribute my idea or piece of information? We might add sorry before this one as well to make the interruption. So a full example would be something like, sorry, could I just ask when the meeting will be? Sorry, could I just ask when the meeting will be? Or sorry, can I just add that we will have two team members, not three, joining us next time? Or could I just jump in here? I just wanted to clarify when the meeting will be, for example. So those are our phrases, those are our two structures that we can use for really polite interruptions in English and I should say these are great for meetings but also very nice for general daily conversations as well. So I hope you can put them into practice soon. If you'd like to practice writing some example sentences in the chat, please feel free and if you would like to practice these expressions with me in class, please feel free to book a session with me uh, with the links in the description. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye!